Cancer is a disease which affects African Americans more than it does any other ethnic group in the world. The lack of access and the lack of preventive services uh, I think is, is one of the things that, that, uh, that contributes not only to the high degree and disparity of cancer on the reservations and among Native people and among Latinos. Because we don't have access to health care, that we should, 28% of Native Americans have no health insurance at all. 31% uh, of Latinos have no access to health insurance at all. But then you compound the problem. Um, because by the time you do reach this individual, the disease is aggravated, the disease is terminal, and the treatment is expensive, and the quality of life is gone. It's tough enough for someone born here to understand the healthcare system. It's even harder for somebody who's born from uh, another part of the world. We need to get more minorities into uh, clinical trials. I'm convinced that we can't do it all through legislation. We can't do it, do it through hospitals. We can't afford to do it after people get sick. We've got to do those things to prevent people from getting sick. If we're really serious about it, we have to do the kind of clinical trials that will bring out the causes. You have to really get down with the people there's no reason why uh, a particular ethnic group ought to suffer more. Doctors don't walk into the exam room on a given day and think, I'm gonna do something about health disparities today. Yet everyone is committed to doing the best that they can for and with an individual patient. Overall, we haven't seen enough progress and there are too many disparities uh, that are still affecting this country and impeding the, the potential for all people to reach their full potential for health. Some of our most vulnerable populations are also more likely not to be aware of the importance of screening for cancer and if they have cancer, are more likely to see treatment with late stage diseases that might have been treated more effectively or cured if diagnosed earlier. The fundamental issue is education. Once we, 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 we have laid that foundation, then it becomes a generational, it becomes a family ethic, it becomes a community ethic to deal uh, with the issue and to, uh, to not only be aware of it, but know about screening, know where to go, and know that it is not uh, an issue that you hide. There are major disparities in breast cancer for African American women. It turns out that we get mammograms just as often as our white counterparts, um, but we're still diagnosed later, and we still die more frequently. Researchers can listen closely to what the community needs are. That's absolutely critical. Researchers should be part of the communities that they're trying to support. They should understand the unique concerns of each of these communities. They should be part of the fabric of these communities. It's very important to be altruistic, and that's why people go into the helping and the caring professions. But I think it's also important to understand that uh, part of what we're working toward is um, equity. The researchers are the experts. We need them to give us the data, and they have the credentials to provide the data, provided they get down to the point where you really can determine what the reasons are and provide solutions. This closing of the gap is not an exercise that in futility, that as we close it, it makes all the other components of this nation that much stronger. I would say to all of those who are working to eliminate health disparities that um, what you're doing is so very, very important. That it's just not about curing a patient. 
It's about having a grandfather around to see his grandson and encourage him and, and maybe walk him to school. It's about having a mother there for her children. And that's, that's very, very key because that adds to the quality of life. And so I would say to them that when they get a bit discouraged, understand that it's bigger than them. I want to thank the advocates and the researchers and everybody involved in this issue. It's, it's not an issue for any one person or any one community. It's an issue for our entire country. We are getting more diverse by the day. We are one country and we should be as healthy as we can be as one community. So we need everyone to rally around this principle and make our country as healthy as possible in the future.